What the heck is hot yoga? Hey, it's Sarah Curry coming at you back from Blaze Yoga and Pilates once again. Um, make sure you comment um, below if you have any questions about what hot yoga is or why it's hot so that we can get your questions answered. So last week we talked about <clears throat> what yoga itself was, but here at Blaze we teach hot yoga. And a lot of the questions we get from students are like, why does it have to be hot? Like maybe I'd like the yoga if it wasn't heated in there. And, you know, the, the yoga that we teach came from um, the Calcutta region of India, where it's naturally like in the 80s, both humidity and temperature most of the years of the year. So when the yoga came out of India, um, first it was brought to Japan. And when the winter came, people were like, Ooh, I'm stiff, people were getting hurt. And so one yoga student brought in a um, space heater and then another one wanted their own space heater. And so it just sort of snowballed from there, this hot yoga phenomenon. But what's really cool about it is that while we kept those heaters and the heat as an element in the yoga, we started to find out over the years through scientific research Research, that there actually were are all of these benefits to practicing yoga and exercising in a heated environment on the very most basic and fundamental um, principle when you're in a heated environment your blood vessels dilate so that your body can regulate your core temperature and when that happens circulation moves more easily so all of those awesome benefits you get from yoga from increasing circulation you get even more so in hot yoga because every single blood vessel is dilated so that impact is improved it's easier wildly enough it's easier for people to balance balance and coordination is improved because blood vessels are dilated people who um, have heart conditions can often have a easier time uh, increasing exercise quickly in a heated environment because there's no constriction but even cooler than all of that is that the heat in the yoga or what's called um, hyperthermia or increasing your temperature even though it only increases like half to one and a half degrees during the average class has shown scientifically uh, provable increases in all of your positive and happy hormones so all the feel-good hormones like dopamine and oxytocin serotonin and GABA um, people who practice hot yoga have more of those happy hormones now people who practice yoga have less cortisol but people who practice hot yoga have less cortisol and more of the happy hormones. And this research actually dates back a long time. So back in the 70s and 80s, there was research being done in hospital situations with people with severe depression, and they saw the same thing. And we're replicating that right now at the Mass General Bikram Yoga and Depression um, Study. So the original form of hot yoga was Bikram Yoga. Uh, that was brought to the U.S. in the 1970s. And in the beginning when we taught hot yoga people thought we were crazy I mean when when we opened here people said that that our type of yoga wasn't real um, that, that it was only difficult because of the heat lots and lots and lots of myths around the heat and stuff like that but the issue is people were feeling better in lots and lots of ways and over the years of teaching this yoga we have seen more and more disciplines of both yoga and other fitness modalities add the heat because it's such a powerful tool. It's a powerful tool that facilitates transformation much more quickly than not doing it in a heated environment. The one thing I will tell you about the heat is the heat is a tool that we use to help you improve your health. The heat is not a weapon that we try to beat you over the head with. So a perfect class for Bikram yoga would be about 105 degrees and 40% humidity because there's not a lot of vigorous vinyasa or flow to the yoga. Hopefully whoever knocked that down is okay over there. Um, and in our, our flow classes like Bark and Vinyasa and Inferno Hot Pilates, it's about 10 or 15 degrees cooler than that because there's a lot more vigorous movement and a lot more internal heat generation. Um, <clears throat> when the humidity is higher, the temperature in the class will be lower. So all of our teachers are trained in um, managing a heated environment and they understand about heat in index and the impacts of that. Um, so you never have to stress out in class it's going to be too hot for you. Um, we're not trying to be the hottest yoga studio in town. We're trying, to, we're trying to be the most effective at helping you achieve your health and wellness goals. So again, if you have questions about the heat or you want to know more about it, hit the like button and comment down below so we can figure out what it is that you're wondering about heat and hot yoga.